Once upon a time, two little cats were about to steal some pie. It had been a sweltering day as they played in the shade of the trees. It didn't matter if it was hot, cold, rainy, or windy. They loved exploring the forest, but the warm air did make them feel a little sleepy. After a long day of studying bugs, mushrooms, and strange plants, they packed up their notebooks and pens and headed back home. With stomachs rumbling and gurgling in anticipation of food, they headed back on the main path. Suddenly, one of the cats sniffed the air with a curious expression. Something smelled really, really good. Sweet and fruity with some cinnamon? In the direction of the sweet smell, there was a branching narrow path, half covered in leaves, and they didn't think twice. Where the narrow path led to, they didn't know. All they knew was that they needed to walk along this one to get to the food that they were smelling. Sometime later, they reached the end of the path and saw a cottage they had never seen before. It had a pale pink roof with brown brickwork and a tangle of roses and vines adorning the side of the house. The garden around it had a lot of different plants and flowers they also had never seen before. Their adventuring had led them to something new and exciting. From the enclosed garden, they could see that on the ledge of the window sat a pie, and that's where the sweet smell was coming from. They moved closer, but jumped at the sight of something behind the window. Who was that? Crouching under the ledge, they peeked over and saw an older owl. She must have made the pie. Right under the ledge, all sense of self-control was pushed aside. They wanted to eat a slice. She wouldn't notice if they were quiet, they thought. One of the cats pulled a couple of masks out of his bag in case she saw them. The other one approved of this impulsive decision. While she was washing the dishes, they grabbed fistfuls of apple pie and shoved it into their faces. Happily unaware, they didn't know that the owl had seen them. She watched them out of the corner of her eye, almost bursting out into laughter, seeing them in ski masks. They were so small and mischievous, and she enjoyed a little bit of harmless chaos they brought to her window. Her rope swished against her wings as she washed the dishes, and a bit of energetic whispering could be heard from the two cats. She knew they were probably planning on stealing some pie. That was obvious. With careful swiftness, they grabbed more fistfuls of apple pie, which had cooled down considerably. She was glad for that. She didn't want these two burning themselves. Half of the pie looked a mangled mess, but she could only smile as she listened to them loudly eat. It had been too many years since someone truly enjoyed a slice. For the past ten years, she had been baking pie for no one but herself and maybe the wild birds that had made nests nearby her cottage. When her husband was alive, she looked forward to making pies, but now it had just been a habit that she couldn't unlearn. Their noisy eating reminded her of him and the evenings where they would sit together and read by the fire. With the only sound of the room being energetic munching, she never really ate much of it. She disliked watching him do so. And she liked watching these two eat as well. They looked familiar. Even with their masks on, she knew they belonged to the family of cats that lived in the blue-roofed house next to the post office. It was a little far for them to come on foot, but it seemed like they had packed for an adventure. She noticed that they had a large bag behind them, and sticking out from the bag was a notebook with the drawings of mushrooms and poisonous plants on the front. Curious cats, she whispered to herself, and the smile reached her eyes. Strangely enough, it felt like her husband was still there. Wiping her feathers on the kitchen towel, she decided to make sandwiches and cakes next week. She would call the cat family that lived in the blue-roofed house and ask them what these rascals liked to eat. Perhaps the whole family could come? The thought of eating with someone made her quite happy, and she looked around her cottage, making notes in her head about what to eat and what pies she could make in the coming weeks. What a happy day it was that someone could finally enjoy Slice, hoping that next time they would come back without ski masks so that maybe they could eat together. And a special thanks to Anna Gaylord, Arage, Derek Moore, Egg Lay, Jessica, Laura Moon, Megan Stinson, and Paige Sullivan.